You know what's really cool? I think this is the first super cardioid I've ever reviewed. Cool. It's so good. It's super. I'm super cardioid. Well, not really like that. Super cardioid. Kind of different. Super duper duper cardioid. Never mind. We'll get into that later. Once again, I'm able to do these comparisons because I make money on this channel. So all you gotta do to support is simple. If you like the video, drop a like on it. If you find my charm irresistible, give that red button a smack, stick around for a while. This is the AKG D5. It's a stage mic, which is in direct competition with every other handheld mic out there, including the SM58 and the Sennheiser E835. Now, it's a dynamic mic, as are all the others, but this one has a super cardioid pickup pattern. Now, what that means in a nutshell is it's more directional, and that means it just works best when capturing a sound directly in front of the microphone. There is better sound rejection from the sides, and usually just a bit of pickup at the rear. And yes, that is an important thing to note, but we're going to get to that in a bit. You see, if you look at a cardioid polar pattern, you'll notice it looks like an upside down heart. The top of it is the most sensitive to the sound. And the further from the outside circle, or zero dB, the less sensitive it is. Well, if you see at the top of the cardioid, you'll see that there is zero pickup from the rear of this polar pattern. Now, when you look at the polar pattern for a super cardioid, you will notice that the sensitivity is less at the sides, but at the bottom, you have a loop, meaning the microphone will pick up sound from behind the microphone. And while one of the selling points of this microphone is better stage performance and less feedback, well, it is a possible kryptonite. Super duper 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 duper. Like, you know, if onstage monitors are pointed directly at the back of this microphone, that could become an issue. Now, that said, you will see all of that in the off-axis rejection and coloration test. That is coming up, but first, let's take a look at the build quality. This thing is a beast, much like every other handheld like it. All metal design, the grill has zero give, and it feels very sturdy in the hand. The grill does come off to show the capsule suspended. Don't know if you can hammer nails with it, like the SM58, but I wouldn't doubt it. As for specs, the D5 is, as discussed, a dynamic super cardioid and has a frequency response of 70 hertz to 20 kilohertz. It has a sensitivity of 2.6 millivolts per pascal, which translates to about negative 51.5 dB, which means it needs less gain and less than the SM58, which may be of interest to many. The self noise is negative 18 dB and it weighs about three quarters of a pound. Also, I should point out that this thing has a dual shock mount in it for the capsule, which means it should cut down dramatically on handling noise. I guess we'll find that out in a second. This is the off-axis rejection test for the AKG D5. Here I'm speaking into the front of the mic from about six inches away. Here I'm speaking directly into the side of the mic from about six inches away. Here I'm speaking to the rear of the mic about six inches away. And here I'm speaking into the other side of the mic from about six inches away. And now for the handling noise test of the AKG D5. This is a test of the microphone's proximity effect. I'm sitting about an inch off the capsule. And this is the capsule from six inches away. This is the capsule right up front. Sorry if I'm popping some peas. Now we're testing the AKG D5 versus the XM8500 from Behringer. And this is how they sound back to back. I wasn't expecting the Behringer to really put up much of a fight here. That said, let me know down in the comments. Which one do you like? The AKG D5, which retails for about $99, or the Behringer XM8500? Now we have the AKG D5 versus the SM58. Now these two are direct competitors. This one is a super cardioid. This one is a cardioid. And you'll notice that as you go off axis from the microphone. This is the AKG D5 off axis, and this is the Shure SM58 off axis. You'll notice that the SM58 probably has a little bit better pickup to the side, 
and coloration as well. This one's gonna reject more of that sound from the side of it. So let me know, just on sound quality alone with my voice, which one do you prefer, the AKG D5 or the Shure SM58? Now we have the comparison of the AKG D5 versus the Sennheiser E835. What do you think? This one is a super cardioid. This one is a cardioid. Now, this one I do believe the E835 I think is a little bit more expensive than the AKG D5. I'll put the prices up here just so you can see. But which one do you like with the sound of my voice? I'm rather partial to the E835. However, it's hard to ignore the D5. It does sound pretty good. So what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. We talk in the AKG D5 or we talk in the Sennheiser E835. This one's going to be a tough battle, I think. Okay, it's hard not to notice. This mic is, well, it's good. And it's kind of expected at this price point. At this point, if you're looking at any of these microphones, you should just go with the one that you think best suits you. If you're looking for a stage mic, this thing should be at the top of your list as it is known for its rejection. I like the sound of it. It has similar boosts in the frequency around 2000 and 5000 as the SM58. And it really does just sound good. So where does this put your purchase decision? Well, as with all microphones, try it out first if you can see what you think. Though with all three of these mics, I can't imagine you'll be disappointed with any of them. Let me know which one you preferred in the tests though. Did the AKG make your ears perk up when compared to the other two? Let me know down in the comments. Now, if you like this video and you're all in on handhelds, check out the video I did on turning an SM58 into an SM7B just by rewiring it. Cheers, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm super cardioid, super cardioid, super duper duper cardioid, super duper 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 du